I can't wait for this one to unfold. Well, we've uh, already seen a, a couple of waves ridden. We're going to bring you those in just a moment. Big set waves. Looking really good. Jordy Smith having to bounce his way back after losing out in uh, a, a thrilling round four heap to Felipe Toledo. And while we were at the break, well, Jordy unloaded on this thing. Well, again, the conditions still improving as we see that wind coming from the correct direction, keeping those faces smooth. And Jordy matching the style and approach of the walls of J-Bay. I mean, literally his timing has been impeccable, just gliding through each and every section. That style, I mean, if you look at a judging criteria for a wave like this, I mean, obviously combination of major maneuvers is a major part of this, but the flow that you carry and the timing that you pull into in these, in, in these sections, it's uh, so important, and Jordy just knows it so well. He loves the feel of that first ride, and so he should. It's going to go into the nines. Let's see what Connor's reply was like. Well, a little bigger wave on that outside section. You see, again, nice and clean. Not going to have to deal with any foam on it because it moved outside, a little further out the point. But, I mean, if you look at this, this is just a great first exchange. Very similar in their approach, carrying a ton of speed through their maneuvers. Through this inside, though, you can see the double up starting to unfold here, and so did Connor, and he just sits back and waits it out. Again, that stall bottom turn pulls up into it, and if you can see this section here, it is long, double barrel through it, and escapes out the bottom. Anytime you're, you're getting an elevated view on a wave too, it's, it's shaving some height off that wall here. You're actually looking at the back of the wave, really. Let's have another look at the start. Again, on that outside section, beautiful turns, nice arcs. You know, maybe missing a little bit of uh, variety there in those three maneuvers on the outside section. You can see it starts to fold, that bump coming from underneath. And this is the read from Connor. He's going to see that going down and go, okay, it's going to go into this impossible section and it's going to get barreled. It's going to set it up. I mean, again, in there, you would think it feels like he's pretty deep from this angle and escapes out the bottom. That was a beautiful ride. Here we go from the water perspective. Again, that's that setup. You wait off the bottom, a little slow turn up into it. And again, just the perspective that we're getting here is just uh, hard to tell how deep he was. There we go, a little more further. There, that's, uh, the, that's the telltale sign right there. Yeah. He wasn't as deep as needed to be, and the judge is making a read on that. So just holding back a little on the scale there. 6.9 for Coffin, and now Geordie gets an opportunity to bank another big number here. Leans on that back foot. Almost got chopped by the lip a little bit there. So spending a bit of time behind the section on this ride, and, well, he's out of there. Nice read. You know, that wave wasn't really going to give him uh, as much as he would have liked, because he, he knows how important that outside maneuvers. I mean, you can tell from that first score of the 917. You just don't know how the, the vibe's going to work out. You don't know which side of the, of the priority you're going to be on. Well, here goes Jordy Smith. Looking to dump that 2.67 and replace it with something much bigger. Well, he goes gunning down the line. Plants a big floating re-entry there. But uh, it just gets a little hooked up in that white water for a moment. He goes down. Kind of confident, meanwhile, on the outside. A couple of solid hits to get started. Ducks under the lip. Can he keep going through this one? I love the way he ended that wave. No downtime on the ride before looking for the tube. Really had to get going. You know, once you get up in there, sometimes you might be able to do a little adjustment. Uh, but overall, it is a, a barrel that is tough to gain speed through. So you got to get it all before you enter it, which is what Connor does here. You can see beautiful arc there. Again, that layback carve. So functional on the big wall here. Again, connecting straight up into it, right in there, it pumps up. But at that point, the barrel, you just don't have enough room to kind of get those quick little squirts, although the forehand will allow you that, to get those adjustments, but just not in that case. Jordy Smith here on the first wave of the set. You know, priority, again, playing a key role here because Jordy had to go in this first one, knowing there's probably a wave behind it. That was the maneuver, but it did put it behind. So the same set, kind of the same angle of these waves, put that midsection there, too tough to get around. So uh, uh, unfortunate for Jordy. 
just a 4.5. Oh, and enjoy your time off. We'll see you in Tahiti. Well done. Thank you, Rosie. Yeah, you could, you could hear the disappointment on oh, after a big result here. But still, a, a ninth isn't bad as we get back into heat three of round five. Jordy Smith up. Nice big jam there. This wave starting to line up through the inside. Has a bit of a double up section. Jordy staying with the bowl so he can get these critical turns done. Impeccable technique. A little wobbly on that last turn, but can make up for it here. Big float to finish. You can see Connor Coffin right behind him. Let's see what Connor can do. He wants to win this exchange. Because Jordy's had the better of him so far. Nice big high line. So much speed here. He digs in and there's that tricky bump on the face. He goes down. You know, the first exchange of good separation. Again, these smaller waves have a little better pace. But even with the angle of swell today, even the smaller waves are pretty fast. You can see the ability to get down the line. Got the maneuver done on the outside. And then there, the big layback car. So again, you're saying, uh, you know, the pace of the wave dictating with the maneuvers that he's being able to do. And this one differently giving him that ability. Right there, tiny bit of a wobble, so not a high quality turn there. So that'll affect the score. Good flow though, throughout the entire, and he completed the ride. Much bigger wave for Connor here. Those solid maneuvers on the outside, they're gonna play into it, I mean, You've got both surfers up and riding at the exact same time. And when you're seeing such a much bigger wave happening for Connor on the outside, I mean, he did some pretty big moves, you know, and uh, you would think that Connor's gonna get the better of the exchange, even with the error on the inside. See what the judges think, but uh, right here, I mean, he could have easily, if he could capitalize right on this section here, I mean, it would have been a guarantee. But with this fall, you know, I think he misread that inside section slightly. This is such a pretty wave. We're waiting to see what the judges think. Let's check in with Sean Thompson and get his thoughts on that last exchange. Yeah, I thought it was a terrific exchange. I thought Jordy seemed to be a little bit off form on that wave. Connor did make that one mistake, but he'd done about seven or eight massive maneuvers um, earlier on the wave. So, Like fighting, you know, or, or something like that, where you have a one-on-one -on -one competition, or even tennis. You've got you to gotta formulate how you're going to beat your opponent. It's a big critical thing that I believe doesn't get talked about so much by these guys. As we look at the recap here of this heat, this is the beginning wave. This has really been the point of difference for Jordy was the 9.17, making the choices early to go on the first wave of the set, and it's paid off. You know, he's got that nice pace. You know, only one little hick, hiccup, and I mean, might have been right there, but overall, a very complete ride. Judges taking note of that and giving him the 9.17. You know, this was the exchange here. Turns on the outside by Connor Coffin. This one only receiving a 6.9, even though it was on a bigger wave. Did some nice surfing, but Judge is not thinking as critical. You know, even with the barrel on the inside. You know, good variety here. Actually, this is the wave that was the 6.93, I think. Because this is the section where I think that uh, under potential here you know that turn just had to get going down the line so he really couldn't commit to it and then the fall Jordy's second ride the 7.5 again the smaller wave of the set the beginning stages of it but he did some massive turns and made up for it he surfed this way to a 7.5 i mean this score if you looked at this wave in today's action you wouldn't say that it was a 7-5 written on it, but Jordy surfed his way there. Again, capitalizing on this inside section where Connor did not. He's got quite a, a big points jump on Connor when you look at their backup numbers at the moment. Here he goes, trying to dispose of a 7.5. Beautiful wall stretching out in front for the time being. He just has to put the foot down and get motoring. Oh! And he falls, uncharacteristic. So there is a minute and 40 seconds to go now. And Connor really still looking deep. for a 9.74. So deep, he's going to have to punch through the back of this one. 10 seconds remaining here. Connor Coffin with priority, still chasing. Having a look at this smaller wave. 
He's going to have to really take the thing apart. He might not even get to his feet in time. The heat coming to a close. Not sure if this one will count. O'Connor racing down the line. Lays it out. <laughs> Loses his back foot, unfortunately. He goes down. But Geordie Smith, after a mistake, dodges a, a ninth place finish in the event. He's through to the quarterfinals. He's going to take on Felipe. What a fight that will be for a semi-final spot.